I'm Ivana, and this is my first story time. I am gonna be doing my makeup while I do this. I do a Mitch matched eye, one eye pink, one eye orange. I feel like everyone should always actively be looking for a sugar daddy or sugar mama. Um, I'm just being honest. Like I think if you can find somebody who's willing to give you a little money. Um, just to date if you want to professionally date like I'm all for it. I've benefited if I'm being honest. So if you're looking for a sob story was saying it sorry Get on uh, an app and it's called study and we found each other very quickly like and this is kind of like my dating style in general. I'm gonna send a message and I'm gonna hope that you're gonna try and see me soon. Basically he was just like I want to meet you. Um, let's meet and I was just like okay I was feeling bold I guess and I was just like okay sure and then he like called me the next day and so I'm at my friend's house we're getting lit and so we just like um I answered the phone I'm just like yeah like let's meet and he like he I could definitely tell he's trying to see if I'm a girl which I thought was so funny so we're on the phone and I basically was just like okay if you want to meet me a hundred dollars like if you want to meet me in person, like $100, like offer it. No, like I'm not fucking around with you. And he was just like, okay. Me, we met the next day. My homegirl, my roommate, Alicia, she came with me. Shout out to her. Um, Cause like, honestly, I would never meet somebody for the first time without a friend like that. Like, I don't know. Like I've met Tinder dates by myself. So basically, um, he comes up to me on the bench. I see him from far away. First thing that I notice is that he has a limp. But I noticed that like he walks funny, like he definitely um, has been like injured before, um, but not bad. But he definitely had like, like he had a look. five nine five ten, and uh, just like a forty five year old white guy maybe. Yeah, like good hair, you know. Like he wasn't. He definitely wasn't ugly like at all. But he was weird. Like you could like off rip. I kind of like sensed that like he was weird I'll go into this the more like i will feel like oh, dumb like i just want to make it very clear off rip like oh so like why did you go further like i felt like i needed money right now like i had to like pay my rent f through for like summer through college because my parents didn't have it and it was fine like i didn't i don't expect that shit from them but it just they didn't tell me until like the very last minute you know so i had to like find a place to live and like get my shit together. I took it to the extreme. I will be honest, I definitely took it far. Um, I just, I panicked. I think I panicked and I went to like worst case scenario. Anyways, that's not the point. Cause I did it and I don't regret it. He told me that he's like an army vet trend or whatever and he's just um, basically told me he was looking for like a wife, you know, like, I kind of like he said wife when we first met kind of thing so I like I like knew you know where he was at and that was fine because I didn't really care um like I, it didn't mean anything to me at the moment because like I hadn't have I hadn't dealt with a lot of men who had wanted to get married before so it's a very different experience so I just thought I was like oh okay like, whatever like that's like isn't that like a like a good thing like I don't know yeah, I don't know what told me that he actually had money. You know, like from meeting him, he could have been like a homeless man, like truly. When he paid me the first time, when I first met up with him, the $100, he, um, he came to my car and he gave me $200. And that's when I like kind of knew, you know, that I was like, okay, I'm onto a good thing. Like I can fuck with this. Basically my schedule was to go to work in the morning and then I would get off work and I would pretty much change in my car and then I would go over to his apartment downtown. So, um, he had a nice apartment. I, Alicia did not go with me any other times. <laughs> so yeah, that, that, this is the where I'm like, this is not like my best idea. Um, so I went to his apartment and we just kind of chilled for a bit. He had a lot of like cool shit. So of course he showed me his cool shit. Like it, it just was like, you know, typical guy like trying to show off, but also like, he just wasn't like well socialized, I guess. He always asked me like very interesting like questions, but then it all came back to like the same thing, you know, like just, you know, just a, just a poor old guy. Like I don't wanna like talk about it too much cause he did like, he lived a life, you know what I'm saying? Like he lived a whole life and a half, if 
I'm being honest. No, okay, no Stockholm Syndrome, but like, you know, like just he was cray. So the first day I go there, he gives me $300. And then like every other time that I go there, he would give me $500. So I was making $500 to see him. And like, the, I know that like, this is what people are curious about. Like, what, like, what did he pay you for? Like, what were y'all doing? Like, <laughs> and that's the thing. Like, no one's going to believe me. So that's why, like, I just leave it at sugar daddy. And I just don't like, like, you know, I just, because that is what it is. But, like, I didn't do anything. Like, if I'm being 100%, like, we didn't do anything. He paid me 100% for my company and for the fact that, like, he wanted to eventually get married. Like, he would hint at sex, like, obviously. Like, he... <laughs> he would make his jokes. Like, he would get his shit off. But, like, I just... <laughs> I don't know. Like, it just didn't really phase me. Like, we didn't just go... Um, to his apartment. We definitely went out a few times. Um, went to dinner and whatnot. Uh, people stared, but I honestly didn't notice very much. Like, I just wasn't like in that headspace of like giving a fuck. So I kind of realized pretty soon that we were not gonna get married. You know, like when he when he mentioned it, I would probably like recoil quite a bit. He was just so crazy. I was like, the fact that you think that like your money is worth like my piece like this was actually kind of insulting. But there's a lot of things he did that were, were like insulting and like would try and get under your like skin. And like that's one of the things that probably annoyed me the most is like, especially as like a black woman, you know it when someone's trying you and like trying to like, like get to you and it's like. You know, you just like shut the fuck up. Like I don't give a fuck about you. Like I don't even know you like what's going on. Like why do you care? Why do you care to see if I care? I felt like it was like any other job, like truly, okay, like I'm just gonna take your shit for like a little bit. Can't cross any boundary. There's like certain lines that we have here, you know, professionally, but to like a certain degree, I'm here to take your shit, but I don't care. I don't internalize it. Like, it's fine. This is what I'm getting paid to do. It, one of the weirdest things about our, our relationship, because I guess technically, I don't know, should I consider him like a, like I definitely wouldn't consider him a body. Is he my ex? on like actually professionally dating and taking this seriously always get paid up front but in this story time um so i would leave his apartment unpaid after about an hour 15 hour 30 of letting this man talk at me you know what i mean like doing my job finishing work getting off and i did this every time and so he would call me when I was like um, almost leaving the shopping center. Like always caught me in the nick of time. Like I swear to you, it was like a, like a fucking, I don't even know. But right on time every time. And uh, he'd be like, oh, I, uh, I forgot your money. And I was just like, oh my God, my money? What money? <laughs> you know, like fucking ignorant shit. He would come to my car. Maybe this was a professional way. I don't know. But it just felt mm, a touch grimy. $500 cash every single time, like clockwork. And yeah, that was, that was the arrangement. Like I left his apartment every time without getting my money um, until he decided to run it down to me, which he was always like, I never had a problem with it because it was, I always got my money. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. Our relationship was honestly kind of short lived. It was just very controversial in my opinion and like I just had a lot of strong opinions and like I would you know I would let him know like I'm not your bitch okay like you might be paying me but I'm still gonna tell you exactly what the fuck I think like mm -hmm, you you have there ain't nothing that can pay for my silence I'm so sorry oh yeah so like I think the final straw was when he kind of dangled a carrot in front of me he was like so um you know like if we were married like I would pay your student loans like they would be paid off because of you know marriage and things and like his position and whatever and I was just like yeah I'm sure like a lot of things would be paid off if I was married to you because I would be married to you and I would fuck your credit cards up I would run you I would run you like, like student loans
Yeah, so the whole not marrying thing for him was definitely a deal breaker. He was not having it. Um, yeah, we broke up. I honestly took it pretty hard, obviously. It was like literally free money. But yeah, so, um, so I made a lot of money in a very um, short amount of time. And I don't know what I spent it all on. Mostly like clothes and... Where'd I go? Oh, I went on a trip. So I think I spent all that money on like a, uh, I went to study abroad for a month. So I probably used a lot of that. We did get physical one time and it was physical. <laughs> we shared an intimate peck um, after basically, he told me a lot about his childhood, which I'm not willing to just, just talk about because it's, it's not my story to tell. Lifetime's worth of pain, if I'm being honest. Just, anyways, not the point. Um, but yeah, so after he told me about like his whole life story, which I mean, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it was real. Otherwise, it was just a good sob story to get a kiss out of me. But yeah, we did share one measly peck. I felt like it was a gift. <laughs> I don't think, no, I haven't done it since. Um, I have tried. I have attempted. Um, but honestly, that was such like a good situation and part of me doesn't want to like test my luck that was my story time i hope that you enjoyed hearing about my sugar daddy experience um uh, let me know if you would do it too have you ever had a sugar daddy what was it like and i hope this video found you in the best place possible bye